What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we react to behind the scenes with Tony Stewart's sprint car game. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I might be coughing a little bit in this video. Just kind of getting over like a sore throat and cold and pneumonia and all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, this video was released yesterday by um, actual like place that did the trailer, Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Game, I think it's called, I could be wrong, um, but yeah, so we're going to react to it, we're going to see what they're saying and see what's going on. Monster Games presents, after we finished up production of our last game, we had the Hunt opportunity Schneider, studio head, Monster Games, to take a step back, play the game, and figure out what we wanted to do next. And what we found was that everybody really loved playing dirt racing. Yes, sir. The dirt racing just lends itself perfectly to a video game experience. And the thing about dirt track racing is it's it's quick. The action is very fast. The, the races are short. Uh, you don't have a lot of time. You're trying to, to get into qualifying positions to make the main event. So you may have 50 guys show up and, and only 24 or 25 of them are going to make the main event. So, you know, it's not like... You show up and you're guaranteed to, to be in the race. You have to earn your way in, and that's what really makes dirt track racing so intense. So, first of all, let me say this real quick. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to put this. I'm not really good, great with words, putting stuff. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan on how you know, Tony Stewart's on board with this because he's drove these cars in real life, of course. Um, he has a lot of experience, so he knows what he wants. Okay? That's one thing I love. Um, and we know we're not going to get a terrible game because especially with how much input he's putting in. Um, now, is this game going to come out for the first one being absolutely perfect? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And a lot of people bash the game. Oh, it's garbage. It looks like crap. Da, 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 da. I'm not buying it. That's fine. That's your opinion. But the people who are still buying it and still talking crap about it, buy it. Give them your feedback so they can improve the game. You know, I'm very excited. I can't wait. Like, I literally have the timer pulled up probably 10 hours out of the day. Not that much, but I check it, like, twice a day. You never know, man. So, um, as of right now, I'll show it at the end of the video. Two days, 22 hours, 27 minutes. I'm sorry, 26 minutes. Until the game comes out. And that's on TonyStewartGame.com. Um, but like I was saying, I just like how... You know, this game ain't going to come out and immediately be, you know, really bad. You know, it's going to be somewhat decent. It's going to take some time getting used to. And, um, and I'm just liking that it's coming from a real racer. <coughs> so we decided we're doing this. The first thing we had to do was change everything. Change everything. Another great, um... Another great thing, they changed everything. Absolutely everything. We needed to create a brand new physics model. Oof. Oh man. New physic physics model. Uh oh, what did I hit now? There we go. Our car. And then we made a Let's whole bunch of other improvements. Like we had a model that could totally capture, change everything. We needed to create a brand new physics model that could totally capture the craziness of these 900 horsepower cars. And then we made a host of other improvements, like we had to change our event structure. So now we have heats, we have the dash, we have A and B mains. We have a Now I will say, I like the way they kept it legit. Um, what like the real format, um, like how NASCAR and NASCAR Heat 4 kind of got, you know, the stages and, you know, stuff like the different stuff like that. I'm glad that they really went with that. I mean, it's not a surprise, but I'm just glad they stuck with that, thank goodness. 
like the heats, the qualifying dash, you know, all that fun stuff, A main. So that's amazing. Um, let's go back a little. <coughs> yeah, we have A and B main. We have so, one thing that I thought I caught there right before I rewinded it a little bit. And B main. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we can see here, of course, this is your fans that you pick up. You currently have $5,500 in the bank. So this is your money you earn. Okay, so it looks like he's on um, season one, week one. Um, and the good thing is South Carolina. South Carolina. Real places might be fantasy tracks, but real places. You know what I mean? So, thank goodness for that. Um, so 5,000 to win, high banking, uh, track length, what else does it show us? Anything cool? Okay, so three, if you get three 15, three top 15s in five races, it's the same thing as NASCAR Heat, if you guys are familiar with them series, you get bonuses, which is sweet. So, two out of two, two out of two, two out of two, and of course this is probably a Quarter midget, maybe something without a wing. This says wings, none, which is sweet. Um, let's keep watching. We have a ton of content, so it is quarter midget. Um, let's see if I can stop it right there. I don't think I can, it might be too fast. No, too quick. Content in this hand. You can see it in the background a little. We've got career mode. We've got. So again, lobby settings. Do we? Can we do private lobbies? I don't know. I freaking hope so. Um, because I know a few people that are wanting to do like sprint car leagues. Um, I'm already in a few. Um. um NASCAR Heat 4 leagues. So hopefully we could do private lobbies. Because um, if not, that would kind of suck. They would need to fix that. We've got 25 player online multiplayer. We have two player local split screen. We have quick race. We have championship mode. Okay, so so far. We have two player local split. Hold on, let me go back a little more. Here we go. We've got 25 player online multiplayer. So we got multiplayer. Championship mode. Uh, uh, split screen. Multiplayer. We have two player local split screen. We have quick race. We have championship mode. Quick race, championship mode, quick screen, or split screen, quick screen. Oh boy. And we have a custom car creator. What was that? Excuse me, sir. What was that? We have a custom car creator. Hold on. What was that? And we have a custom car creator. Hold on, what was that? Ship mode. And we have a custom car creator. Custom car. Hopefully, it's the custom car we all wanted. Like the full paint booth. I mean, I doubt it. But we can always pray, right? We can always wish. Um, I freaking hope so, man. Um... Hopefully it's a full paint booth, but to be honest, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. But it's nice that they threw that in there. You know what I mean? Um, so it's probably gonna be like the templates, like you have a NASCAR Heat Four and the NASCAR Heat Series. Um, I'll be very surprised if there's a full paint booth. You never know. We can get stuff like that through like updates. That's what I'm saying. G giving your feedback is always important. We added 24 brand new and unique tracks that have so 24 new and unique their own look and feel from small quarter mile rustic tracks to grand half mile tracks that have jumbotrons, packed grandstands, and state of the art facilities. I've just always liked dirt track racing. I mean, it's what I started in in go karts, and I've always just enjoyed the fact that every time you go on the track, it's different. It's never the same twice. Tony's dirt career is a natural fit for our game. So you start of the midgets where you gain some experience. Okay. Let's go back a little. 
<coughs> Excuse me. So, starting out in the midgets, I'm guessing this is career mode, of course. Before you race your first season in the QT midgets, which is quarter midgets, you need to customize your team. You'll need to pick a team name, choose a sponsor, and check out your car's paint job. So apparently you can own your own team. Now, it's not clear if you can join us somebody else's team, which probably it is, but who knows? We're gonna gain some experience and try to gain. So we got Black Sports Racing, Iron Force Motorsports. Okay. The attention of sponsors to get more money and more funding to rise to the ranks with the ultimate goal of winning the All-Star Circuit of Champions Championship. Now to do that, you're gonna need a lot of money, which means you're gonna have to impress a lot of sponsors. Okay, so what do we know here? Select which sponsor goal contract you'd like to you'd like for the next five races. So three top three top thirty fives, hundred twenty five, three top twenties, three seventy five, three top fifteens, eleven hundred dollars. So that you can get more money to improve your Excuse me. I'm trying to catch some of these. So that you can get more money. School in the school failed. What is that? Headers? Yeah, my eyes are bad. JE Pistons. Kistler Engines. RE Racing Electronics. Okay. Um, payouts, 10% off parts. Pretty sweet. To improve your vehicle. Uh, money to improve your vehicle. Okay. Which you do through a wide variety of different parts, each with their own attributes that you can use to your own personal driving style. Being able to understand how to control a car that's sliding across dirt and have that kind of car control is, is huge. The guys that are comfortable with that and can drive them that way normally can handle any type of race car because they just have confidence in, in the ability to control the race car. We want fans to immediately pick up the game and have a good time. So whether you're a, a racing game veteran or, or totally new to it, or whether you're 5 or 55, it's, it's all about you know creating fun and having a good time. Three. Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing will be available February 14th on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So that's it. Um, like I said, the game's not going to come out and be perfect. Um, it's always important to give that feedback. Even sometimes, you know, the hard truth about a game is always a good feedback. Um, so I'm really excited for this, honestly. Um, super excited. And, um, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Um, super excited. Super excited. But, um, like I said, two days, 22 minutes, 16, I'm sorry, two days, 22 hours, 16 minutes to the release. And as you can see here on your screen, available, available February 14th, 2020. Now, I see a lot of people asking, can you buy it in the store? Can you go to GameStop? Where do I pre-order it? As far as I know, there's no pre-order. It just comes out. <coughs> um, you can only buy the digital version, which means you have to go to like your Microsoft store, uh, PlayStation store, and buy it then. Um, from what I know, there's a good chance that it could be out on midnight on the 14th very early midnight um, but then um, they did say um, that's kinda up to the console you know console companies because um, I know it was asked will it be out on midnight and they said basically they said it's up to the console companies like Sony Microsoft when they want to release it it's definitely gonna be the 14th for sure but as far as like a midnight release, not too sure. But that's going to end it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you guys want more Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing content, 
Uh, when I get it, I'll definitely be doing some, doing some racing, some gameplay. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We are super close to 100 subs. Currently sitting at 95 as I'm recording this. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much.